Hey, what's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope and Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson, and I got a prediction video. Now, sometimes, you know, I like to do big fights. Um, a lot of the fights are here in America or in this region in the West, Western Hemisphere. We, we, we have a lot of fighters that come over here from all sorts of different countries, South America, North America, and just all in between in the Western Hemisphere. And, and, and a lot of my predictions... And a lot of American fans get into those fights, not necessarily just American fighters, but fights that take place here because we tend to have a lot of big fights that get, you know, that are here. But from time to time, if there's a big fight or a mid-level fight, I like to cover it. And this is a big fight and, and what would we, we, we would see like American fans stereotypically would call this a mid-level fight, a really solid fight to watch. Um, but in Ireland, and actually it's in, uh, let me get this right, I think it's in Dublin, Ireland, at the O2, September 26th, Bernard Dunn is going against Poonswat. Poonswat. Um, I'm not even going to say his last name because I don't know how to say it. Um, I have seen him fight three or four times. Anyway, um, if you haven't seen Bernard Dunn <laughs> fight, you really should. He's a really entertaining fighter. Um, he, he, in front of his I Ireland crowd, Irish crowd, he, um, he gives them a show. And in his last fight against Cordoba, um, it's, it's on YouTube. You should definitely check it out. It was just back and forth, both fighters going down. Um, he did prevail with a belt, an intern belt, and it really put him on the map as far as the 122, uh, weight division. Um, so he's going against a fighter in Pusuat, Punswat, um, who is uh, ranked right around where he is. He has some solid wins. His only loss is to uh, Vladimir, um, well, I got it written down, S Sir Sidorenko. 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 And he's a solid fighter. Um, so he only had, you know, his one loss is a very solid loss. And uh, he, has some, he has some wins. He has a win over Cordoba, too. Um, let's break uh, Punswat. I think I'm saying that right. Punswat. Punswat. Sawat? Punswat. Um, sorry, um, uh, let's break him down first. First of all, um, he's really, really just a tough fighter, okay? Um, he's got good hand speed, he's got good punching power, and he's just a tough nut to crack. I mean, he's a tough guy. Um, he does have weaknesses, though. Um, you know, he has good hand speed, like I said, and for how tough and brawling style he, he has... He has, a, he has a thing where he kind of stands in one place and he shows some head movement and some patience for a, a tough brawler, but uh, sometimes he just tries to load up on one shot or maybe, you know, he'll be patient, patient and just try to throw big, big punches. He's a very inconsistent puncher. Sometimes his, his punches are really tight. Other times they're looping shots, you know what I mean? But he definitely likes to try to load up and land one big shot at a time. Once in a while you'll see a combo out of him. But um, it's interesting too because usually brawlers can cut off the ring well. And, and I don't believe he cuts the ring off well. But when he does get his opponent, you know, cut off, that's when he kind of spazzes out with too many punches. You know what I mean? And he gets hit plenty. So um, I think his defense is lacking, but honestly, the guy is a really tough fighter. So I, I think he just figures, hey, I'm not going down. So what's the point, you know what I mean? So like I said, really tough fighter. Bernard Dunn um, has really good hand speed as well. Um, he's got good footwork. He's got a great jab. And I think that's the difference in this fight, actually. Um, you know, Dunn will obviously... He'll brawl too, sometimes too much. And I, and I like the brawling style, don't get me wrong. But as you move up in rankings, in, 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 you know, in class, like a Rafael Marquez or a Lopez or Israel Vazquez, obviously Vazquez is now moving up the featherweight. But um, once you get to that top level, you can't just brawl. you got to have something to win the round with as well. And I think that's his jab is really great. Um, he, you know, he mixes up his punches. He goes to the body. He, 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 he's a good, solid fighter. I do think his defense can improve. Now, you know, he's not just a basic head movement, and head movement's good. But you know, he'll, he'll, he'll move around too. Like he, he can move his head. He does have a little more D, and he keeps at least one hand up pretty high. Um, but with that said, uh, when he does throw punches, um, sometimes too much. 
he'll leave his hands down as well. Like I said, sometimes he'll just have one hand up, but other times when he goes on the offense, he'll leave himself too wide open and, and too much to get hit. So both of them guys can get hit. Um, like I said, I think the jab and, and just better all around. I think he's got more power. Both of them got a nice, nice power, a lot of pop in their punches. Um, but I think this is just going to be a great, great fight because I, I believe in front of his Irish crowd right there in Ireland at, at the, where is it, the, the O2 Arena, um, I think he's really going to give him a show. Um, so I am going to go um, by decision or late KO or TKO, but I do believe that Poon Swat can make it the distance. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's a knockout. Uh, but I'm going to go with Bernard Dunn in this one. He's a really good you know, good to, we'll see if he's a great uh, fighter at 122 here soon. But this is a really good, solid fight coming off. You know, this is his first uh, title defense, his vacant title that he won against Cordova. So it's a really good first fight back. Um, but I am going with Dunn. Anyway, this has been the Rope of Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.